Hi, in this tutorial, I will explain how we can create a pivot table with the help of macro. So I have some data here. You can see employee ID, name, region, department, and salary. So there are two steps involved in this. First, I will create a table out of this data. Then I will create a macro to create pivot table. So let's see how we can do this. I will select this data then i will go to insert i will click on table we can see that entire range is selected i will click on ok now i will give name to this pivot table we can give any name i am giving name as my data and this is how first step is complete we have created table now we will go to developer tab here we can see we have different options for macro I will click on record macro and we can assign a key which will work for recorded macro here I will click on L that means whenever I will click control and L this macro should execute here I will select this macro so that this macro is functional only on this sheet or I would say only in this file and I'll press ok we can see that sign is converted to stop recording so whatever steps I will perform macro will be recorded for that so at this stage I will select anywhere go to insert then pivot table we can see that my data is coming by default so this is the name which we have given to table I can select existing sheet or new worksheet I am selecting existing sheet let me drag this here here I can select any cell on the same sheet I will click OK so we can see that we have got column names for all the data I want to check that how much salary we are distributing in each region in each department so I will drag this region here department in column level and salary in this box let me close this window now if I move towards right we can see a table or I would say pivot table is created let's do some more work in pivot table I will click anywhere I will go to design tab I will change the layout now I will click here right click and then sort the data largest to smallest so whatever steps we want to perform we can perform here once we are done I will go to developer tab again and click on stop recording now micro has been created so at this stage even if I delete entire pivot table and if I add more data in existing table let's say I'm adding one more data with the salary like uh, 20,000 and if I press control and L the key which I have given to macro then we can see a pivot table is created automatically so that means by creating a table then recording a macro on that table we can automate a pivot table and create very easily also in this pivot table whatever data we add or update that is already identified by table thanks for watching this video